one has a grid in it and about, both of them are biodegradable they're 100 percent green as far as they're they're even made by hydroelectric power uh, it's all recycled material all right now then that's a cup of oil on water i'm going to use that much ours can do uh, a bag every 20 seconds and spread it out. So you're talking about an oil slick and you're just throwing this stuff out. You're getting a consistent cover. All right, and it's pretty much immediate. All you gotta do is, let me get it off the bottom there. But one of the nice things about it is that it, it floats so that you can, you know, the oil plumes they're talking about that are underneath the sea, that uh, there's one supposedly seven miles long by three miles. All right, then I'm going to use it kind of like this to get the side. But anyway, you can imagine this on the marshlands. All right, now then, the beauty of this one of the biggest problems with absorbent booms and the containment booms is the disposal of it. Ours is 95% oil recovery rate. All right, we're gonna see how much oil I get back. Let me put my gloves on. The remaining, the remaining pulp that is left can be made into a fuel pellet. So this is the only product out there that's 100% green. We have the machine to extract the oil from this. All right, the way you would pick it up out in the marsh, uh, there's a company that, ha they're called Aquatic Harvesters. It's the same machine they use on ponds and lakes to, it's a paddle wheel, a large paddle wheel boat that would pick up uh, pa uh, lily patties and stuff, clean a pond or a lake, you know. All right. Now then that, I did not squeeze it all out because I'm not uh, a machine in order to take it out. But. That's almost a cup back that can be reclaimed. Of course, there's some on my hand. Anyway, what you would do is you'd blow this out on an oil spill slick. Come back with a harvester. The harvester has a conveyor belt. It's a 12 foot wide scoop with a conveyor belt. And it'll hold 12 tons, I believe. All right, once it's full, it turns around to a 10 by 40 foot barge, it brings the conveyor belt up and reverses it and offloads. That way you can save the oil, save the environment. What's left turns into a fuel pellet, and that's pretty much it. If you would again, uh, maybe tell me your name. My it, name's Mark Heron. And could you spell that for me? H-E-A-R-O-N. It's MOP. Environmental Solutions out of Bath, New Hampshire. My phone number is 601-941-1535.